Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Mazurvi. Joining us today, we have David McMillan. He is the managing partner here at Drunken Jacks. Thank you so much for having us today. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Beautiful day. Thank you all for being here. All righty. So let's first off talk about Drunken Jacks. I have to know, where did that name come from? Well, Drunken Jacks is actually named after Drunken Jacks Island, which you can actually see behind us mm -hmm. here. And it it's got a, includes an old pirate's tale with Blackbeard and them leaving a pirate behind and coming back and finding his bleaching bones, thus the name Drunken Jack Island. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Get a little yeah. history lesson yeah. here. All right, so what do you offer here? Well, we offer fun and excitement, mm -hmm. great food, great service, primarily specializing in local seafood. Like uh, right off the boat? Right off the boats. We both got boats parked right here. Um, we have a full line of hand cut choice beef, mm -hmm. uh, pasta, something for everybody. Wide range of things. Huh? Wide range of things. And I'm sure you've got a lot of interesting things going on throughout the week, specials and things like that. We so do. We have weekly lunch and dinner specials. Uh, you know, with the COVID situation, we've been a little bit more limited, but have adapted our menu and um, and continue to plug forward in our 41st year. 41st year, huh? Well, celebrated 40 years last year. I love it. So, how did you get involved? I mean, how did how did did you, have you been here? I haven't been. I've been here 36 years, you don't and the like two you've been the here two here original partners are still here: Al Hitchcock and Theodore Russell. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came in in 1984 as kitchen manager and we're Worked still at it. I love it. that, yeah. I love that. Um, talk about just, you know, the location and why people come here to enjoy a dinner or lunch with the family. Well, I think the location kind of speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful view uh, from our dining room. You have a very panoramic view and it's, uh, you know, just our, our food, our service, uh, the atmosphere the welcoming southern hospitality that we Gotta love that, that right? we convey is, is part of our makeup okay david i hear goat island do you have some goats around here we do we do and that's part of our history too uh, several years ago we acquired the island it's been over 20 years and back then there was a, it was a lot bigger island erosions taking a toll on it um, it was really grown up and kids were camping out there and things and maybe doing some things they shouldn't have been doing. So um, our our president of Drunken Jacks, Al Hitchcock, I came up with the idea of putting goats up there to keep the island clean and it has been uh, just a success from day one. We keep the goats fed and watered. Uh, lots of people come to watch the goats. Mm -hmm. But y'all are the only ones that feed them? Or do we, other no, people, we, yeah. we take care of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and we uh, take them out in the winter. They're evacuated for storms, and uh, our phone rings constantly after a storm. They don't ask, are y'all okay? They ask, are the goats okay? <laughs> so if you wanted to have an event or something like that, how does that work? It does. We actually have a separate catering facility across the street called Inland Affairs, but we, we do special events on the deck in the off season. Uh, it's hard to do large events in the season because every day is an event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All righty. So, if you had to say one word that describes Drunken Jacks and that separates you from all the others, what would it be? I mean, simple hospitality. I love that. The total package. Total package. All right. Hospitality includes food, service. Mm -hmm. It all comes together. The whole together. gamut, right? Correct. All righty. Well, now we're actually going to go check in with your chef and see what he's cooking up, right? Okay. Sure. All right. Let's go take a peek. Here in Drunken Jacks, we do a st traditional style of Murrow's Inlet Seafood. Um, we do the best what we can do with our local fishes that we can get day to day from off the docks. We get creative with doing our specials, doing lunch and dinner, and we do that every day, seven days a week. We have um, like local grouper, we have mahi mahi, we have uh, triggerfish, swordfish when it's available, flounder. Our black grouper is very, very famous for our sandwiches, blackened or grilled. Um, or either you can get it as an entree. It comes with an entree with succotash and a roasted red pepper cream sauce along. More Living Local is coming your way, so stay tuned. We'll be right back.